When you think of Las Vegas, you probably think of this. But did you know, there's a whole lot to do just outside of Vegas. Join us for our two video series of Vegas as we show you the Strip, the Desert, the Canyon, Fremont Street, and Lodi. This is Lodi. He's a celebrity. Welcome to Las Vegas. Over 32 million people visit Vegas every year, more than any other city in the U.S. They come with one common vision, just win, baby. With so much to do, if you don't plan accordingly, you can waste a lot of money and time. We'll give you tips and ideas for your Vegas getaway. A helicopter ride over the strip. Crash a Raiders tailgate party. Take you inside 12 of the casinos, including New York, New York. Paris, Las Vegas. Walk the Link Promenade. Ride the Big Apple Coaster. Show how to get around the strip. Explain the monorail system. Also show additional trams that connect casinos not on the monorail. Watch dueling pianos at Harrah's. The water fountains at the Bellagio. The volcanoes at the Mirage. The gondolas at the Venetian. Go to the top of the stratosphere. We end our tour at Old Las Vegas, Fremont Street, with an amazing zip line. We'll show some places to grab a bite to eat as we talk with eight-time American Ninja Warrior Rico Rivera. Show a variety of budget-friendly lodging. And in part two, we'll show the excursions around Las Vegas. From camels to ATV tours, the Valley of Fire, Red Rock Canyon, Lake Mead and Boulder Dam, and Grand Canyon West. All part of a four video series of the West that will include Lake Tahoe and the Grand Canyon. Are you ready for an adrenaline rush? Gear up. Time to lay your chips on the table. You'll want to watch the video to the end. Some helpful info and tips. Places you may not be aware of as we show Las Vegas, the Strip, Fremont Street, and in part two, the surrounding excursions. With so many travel deals to Vegas, and since Harry Reid Airport, formerly McCarran Airport, is so close to the Strip, it makes sense for many people to fly into Vegas. It currently ranks one of the top 10 busiest airports in the world. Uber and Lyft located on the second floor of the parking garage. Airport does run fairly efficiently for being so busy, but rental cars are pretty spread out. The traffic cops in this city sure have an interesting uniform. Make sure to bring comfortable shoes with thick soles because odds are you will do a lot of walking. The Strip, which is Las Vegas Boulevard, and some of the cross streets have pedestrian overpasses and escalators to avoid people blocking the flow of traffic. The casinos are huge. You can easily walk a couple of miles inside of just one casino. The monorail and trams can help save a little walking. The monorail runs from the MGM Grand on the south part of the Strip to the Sahara, close to the stratosphere, with a total of seven stops. They run about every seven minutes, almost through the night, from 7 a.m. to 2 and 3 a.m. A day pass is $13 or $29 for a three-day pass. You can use the app on your phone. In addition to the monorail, there are also three tramps, all of which are free. South of MGM Grand, there's a tram that connects Mandalay Bay, the Luxor, and Excalibur Hotels. Runs daily 10 a.m. to midnight. It also will go to T-Mobile Arena on event days for concerts or see those Vegas Golden Nights. Another tram that connects Aria, the Bellagio, and Park MGM. Runs daily from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. on weekends to 2 a.m. A third tram that connects the Mirage and Treasure Island runs every five minutes from 9 a.m. to 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning. All right, let's show you what to do in Vegas and explore 12 of the casino hotels. First, a must-do tour is a nighttime helicopter ride over the Strip. Most people do this from the main airport that is close to the Strip. I chose to do it with Skyline Helicopters out of North Las Vegas Airport. It's only a 20-minute drive. 
I did this because they are cheaper, less busier, more flexible. It's anywhere from $99 to $134. They also have an option to fly with the doors off the helicopter. We'll begin our ground tour of the Strip on the south end at Mandalay Bay, a 43-story deluxe resort and casino with an 11-acre beach. Also home to the House of Blues, there's the Mandalay Shops, a mall that goes from Mandalay Bay to the Luxor. Mandalay Bay is ideal for events at Allegiant Stadium as they will close down Mandalay Bay Road that goes over I-15 so you can easily walk to the stadium. Just like last year in our Nashville video, we catch the Arizona Cardinals in town. Raider Nation is very spirited. Hell yeah, baby. Raider Nation for life, baby. You see the most passionate fans on the south side of the stadium. Plenty of food. So we just got right in the middle of the craziness. Pretty fun. While they look scary, Bella getting lots of love from Raider Nation. The north side of the stadium has the vendors, games, TVs, a little more tamer than the south side. At the end of the game though, it would be the Cardinal fans dancing in one of the most devastating losses in Raider history, after leading 20 to nothing at halftime. Next to Mandalay Bay is the Egypt-themed resort, the Luxor. We caught up with eight-time American ninja warrior, Rico Rivera, who stayed at the Luxor. The Luxor is my favorite hotel. Uh, I love Egypt history, and I love the shape of the building. I love the whole theme of it. Uh, it's very affordable, real easy check-in, check-out, lots of cool stuff. They got Carrot Top, uh, they got the new America's Got Talent show, and uh, it's just a really good overall experience at the Luxor. They also have the Titanic exhibit with full-scale room recreations and a really good food court. Between the Luxor and New York, New York is the castle-themed Excalibur Resort. The southern end of the monorail is the MGM Grand, currently featuring magician David Copperfield. Also known for major boxing matches at the Garden Arena. You can also watch free screenings of TV shows in production. Across the street from the MGM Grand is the New York, New York Hotel and Casino where you can ride the Big Apple Coaster for a great view of this replica skyline of New York City. It is $19 during the day and $23 at night. New York, New York, one of the most impressive casinos, architecturally speaking. Inside, food areas resemble a Manhattan street, where you can also pick up New York-style food. How cool is that? You can experience New York City without having to deal with the crime of the real New York City. Across the street from New York, New York, is the Hard Rock Cafe. Nice elevated seating, both on the second floor and third floor, overlooking the Strip. In between New York, New York, and Paris, Las Vegas, is the Cosmopolitan, an urban chic luxury resort. And next to that, the Aria Resort, with the shops at Crystal's. The Catch, a stylish restaurant with Asian-style seafood. Across the street, Planet Hollywood, with some of the best shows on the Strip, including magician Chris Angel. Next to Planet Hollywood, we are transported to the Champs-Élysées, in the city of lights, Paris. The casino and restaurant set in a European street setting, just impressive. There's also a monorail stop here at the Bally's and Paris resorts. Several entertainment options in the walkway between Bally's and Paris. The Twilight Zone Mini Golf, also an arcade and bowling alley. Or you can just get a mini massage and relax after all that walking. Also a virtual reality experience. While most things in Vegas cost money, perhaps the most famous show of Vegas is free. Across the street from the Bally's in Paris Resort is the fountains of the Bellagio Resort and Casino. Made famous in the movie Ocean's Eleven, 
There are more than a thousand lighted fountains that sway to the beat of a variety of music. During the day to 8 p.m., they go every 30 minutes, then 8 p.m. to midnight every 15 minutes. Inside the Bellagio, where much of Ocean's Eleven was filmed, a piano serenades people at the Petrosian Bar, the fancy Baccarat Bar, the Spago Restaurant, where you can dine while watching the fountains. On the north side of Flamingo Avenue, across from the Bellagio Fountains, is Caesar's Palace. Inside the Forum Shops at Caesar's Palace is another free show, The Fall of Atlantis with animatronic figures with a laser and water light show that fight for control of Atlantis. It plays Thursday through Monday every hour from noon to 8 p.m. Also here, the popular Omnia nightclub. There's a monorail station named Flamingo Caesar's Palace. But really, it's at the Flamingo, across the street from Caesars, a good half a mile away. Also, another monorail station for the Link Hotel and Harris Casino. In between the Link and the Flamingo is the Link Promenade, an outdoor shopping, dining, and entertainment area, with an observation wheel at the end. Monday through Thursday for $40, you can fly the Link Zip Line, where you soar 1,100 feet over Las Vegas Boulevard and the Promenade. The Brooklyn Bowl, more than just a bowling alley, but an entertainment venue with live music. Shows, 32 lanes. They have some good fried calamari and catfish. There's Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club. Several good eateries along the promenade. Now with an in-out burger. Chayo Mexican Kitchen and Tequila Bar, where you can ride a mechanical bowl. Virgil's Barbecue Bar, with elevated seating overlooking the promenade. You can also satisfy that chocolate urge at Ghirardelli Chocolate. Even with all these places to eat, still lots of long lines. But I found this J.A. Sushi Burrito place. Very little weight. Tried their Venice Beach Veggie Burrito. Was super good. Next to the link is the Harris Hotel and Casino, where you can experience the dueling piano bar. Always puts on a good show. It will get you feeling good. Harris is also one of the casinos that have these Fortune Cup Derby Deluxe games, which are super fun. Next to Harris is the old school Casino Royale by Best Western Plus. Considered one of the better values of the Vegas Strip. Food and drinks more modestly priced. You can get a foot long hot dog for $2.50. Across the street from Casino Royale, you can view the volcano show at the Mirage. 150 fire shooters throw lava 60 feet high from a volcano and lagoon choreographed to music from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Just north of the Mirage and connected by tram is the Treasure Island Hotel and Casino with the Gilly Saloon, a country dance hall and barbecue with a mechanical bowl. Across the street from the Mirage and next to the Casino Royale is the Venetian where you can ride a gondola on the Grand Canal beneath bridges beside cafes under balconies. It's $34 to $39 per person. The Grand Canal shopping complex connects the Venetian with the Palazzo Resort. If staying at either of these hotels, you can enjoy the pools and amenities of both hotels as they are both owned by Vici Properties. Across the street from the Palazzo is the Fashion Show Mall with over 250 shops, 30 restaurants. It hosts weekend New York style runway fashion shows. Further up the strip is Circus Circus, more of a family friendly destination with the Carnival Midway, a large arcade, games and circus shows daily. At the north end of the strip is the Stratosphere. The closest monorail station is the Sahara, which is also the north end of the monorail route. It's about a half a mile from the Strat. Now the Strat is one of the few casinos where you can park for free on levels 4 through 7, up to 4 hours. To go up the tower, it is $20 if you book online. You are not allowed to bring selfie sticks or professional cameras. There's both an indoor observation deck with floor to ceiling windows, as well as an outdoor deck and a fresh air above that. There are three thrill rides at the top. The Big Shot, where you are shot 160 feet up in the air, up the tower's mass to a height of 1,081 feet. There's Insanity, where you spin up to 3 Gs over the edge of the Sky Pod, or the X-Scream roller coaster as well. And if that's not enough for you adrenaline junkies, try bungee jumping 829 feet with the Sky Jump. 
You can dine at the Top of the World restaurant that revolves 360 degrees every 80 minutes or just enjoy a dessert and a spectacular view at 108 Eats. Two miles north of the Strat is the Fremont Street Experience. Fremont Street was the first paved street in Vegas. This was home to some of the first casinos in Vegas, like the Golden Nugget. The neon signs like the Cowboy Vegas Vic were some of the early landmarks of Old Vegas. Today, the entertainment has been built around the Fremont Street experience. Under the impressive Via Vision canopy, with stunning visuals and 3D graphics, there are three stages for free live music concerts. Street performers throughout the experience and an amazing zip line. The Slotzilla zip line allows you to either do a traditional sit down zip line for $44 that is two blocks or go Superman style for $64 that goes for the whole length of the Fremont experience for five blocks. You can add on a photo and a GoPro for $25. I asked Russ, flying with me here, what his thoughts were. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was a great time. I had a great time. Also, food is much more easily accessible here and reasonably priced compared with the Strip. There's the Heart Attack Grill, where diners wear hospital gowns before indulging in heart attack-inducing fare, like the Bypass Burger. There's the Whiskey Liquor Up Bar, with elevated seating and a rotating bar, with views of the stage. For parking, there's the Fremont Experience Garage, accessible on 4th Street. It's about $4 per hour. I was able to find street parking nearby on both days I was here. So when choosing hotels, it's good to know how far the hotel is to the nearest tram or monorail station. Or if you want to save money, you can choose a hotel a little off the strip and drive to a monorail station. And if you do that, the convention center has the easiest parking on a monorail stop. Parking near the station is $10, but I found free parking on the south side lot of the convention center that worked for me. Also free parking at the north end of the monorail in the Sahara garage, as well as free parking at the Westgate Hotel, which is also a pet friendly hotel by the way. We always love Westgate. They usually have really good packages where you can save some money. We show them in our Orlando Disney Universal video. The major hotels on the Strip often have good deals as far as the rate, but most of them will have a resort fee, parking fee, and sometimes Wi-Fi fee, and excessive pet fees. The advantage is you are on the Strip, but often when you add all the fees, it gets expensive, and I just don't like paying resort fees. But sometimes you can find deals that make up for the resort fee. I stayed at four hotels within Vegas to show different options, all off the Strip, but within a mile of the Strip, and no resort fees. The Motel 6 Tropicana has a good location, walking distance to New York, New York, and the MGM Grand Monorail Station is three-tenths of a mile away. The hotel itself was fine, pretty decent. My only thing was it had some interesting characters staying there, but love being able to park right next to the room. It's a trade-off. The best value of a pet-friendly hotel was the La Quinta Airport South. Great rates, good parking, but it's about four miles from the Strip was a very comfortable room, great for me editing videos. A fitness center as well. They had a pretty decent breakfast with sausage and eggs. And a mile away is a good Thai restaurant for calling in orders, Ping Pong Thai. Even more comfortable, just over a mile from the Bellagio, is the Residence Inn Hughes Center. Extremely roomy, separated bedroom, good for an extended stay, full kitchen, a very nice room, and a grassy area for pets, something you don't see much in Vegas. And across the street, the Sinesta Simply Suites. No grassy area, but $75 per stay pet fee, which is reasonable. A super nice room. Also, laundry room is free to use, and a decent fitness center to get a workout in. Wanted to show a couple more places to get good, healthy food. Hello, my name is Rico Rivera, eight-time American Ninja Warrior, and anytime we're in Vegas for Vegas Finals, me and my ninja buddies, we love to come to Protein House. The place is awesome. It's super high quality food, very tasty food, and at a pretty good price. So if you're ever in Vegas, do not skip out on Protein House, especially if you like to eat good and eat well. Check it out. 
Also two miles south of the Strip is Las Vegas Town Square, an open-air shopping, dining, entertainment center. Lots of good quality eateries here. There's a Whole Foods Market, and they have a great cafe with quality food you can get while you stock up on protein bars and vitamins. When in Vegas, super important to stay hydrated and keep your immune system healthy, as you will be in big crowds of people. I caught an upper respiratory infection on my last day, which is why you hear my voice changing. I got a little lax with my normal routine of probiotics, vitamins, and green mixes. I also later in the trip was drinking too much McDonald's lattes, too much sugar, instead of my normal rice mushroom coffee, which is great for the immune system, good for traveling, just mixed with water, and I like a little stevia for sweetener. I'd say double up on your probiotics and vitamins when in Vegas, as your immune system can get a little stressed. In summer, yes, Vegas can get crowded. There's a lot of things that can stress you out. But I don't think any one city has so much to do than Vegas. I've put links and addresses in the description below to help you plan your Vegas getaway. There is so much we did not even show, just not enough time. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, things you've enjoyed in Vegas in the comments below. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We film travel promos across the USA. If you'd like to hire us to film your city or area, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. Coming next, in part two, we show all the excursions you can do around Las Vegas. Also, check out our Lake Tahoe video, which is just a seven hour drive northwest of Las Vegas. And we are planning videos as well for Hawaii and Alaska. Subscribe and click the notification bell. A lot of great videos coming soon. From the entertainment capital of the world, I wish blessings to you wherever you may be. And remember to take your probiotics.